So uh, in Elip, there's a few, uh, there's a lot of tools ataupun function in Elip itself. And I think, uh, oh sorry, saya tak share screen. Yeah. <laughs> Aduh, dah lama tak ni. Share uh, screen PDF eh. Uh, okay. Okay, boleh nampak kan? Uh, belum. Ha? Tak nampak? Uh, dah, dah. Dah eh? Okay. So, uh, there are a lot of tools ataupun uh, features in Elip. Okay. Uh, lesson is one of them. And then, uh, I think this is uh, less use uh, tools or features in Elip lah. Uh, banyak juga lagi function lain yang saya sendiri pun tak habis explore lagi. Uh, but for this uh, lesson, uh, I discovered, I think, or I started use this tool in Elip, uh, I think, last year, SEM1 last year. Okay. Um, SEM1 last year, I use maybe in uh, one topic, I think, okay, using lesson to replace my class because of public holiday so you you need to replace okay so i use is i use lesson so that i don't have uh, to find uh, i mean a uh, time or date that is available to both me and my students because my student time to mungkin ada some yang campur kan class and i find this tool uh, very uh, useful lah Okay, especially if you want uh, to replace your physical class okay, into uh, a synchronous session in uh, online. Lah, okay, okay, um, okay, wait, uh, okay, so this one, okay, just some intro lah because of this COVID-19. Okay, uh, memang uh, we are uh, we are using online instead of face-to-face -face teaching and learning activities. Okay, and uh, I think by now you should know already lah what is the difference between synchronous and synchronous. So for this um, lesson, okay, so uh, it used uh, for asynchronous sessions. Huh? Okay, so synchronous you can use a Zoom or whatever uh, video conferencing uh, tools that you have, okay. Um, so let's say uh, when we talk about online uh, class, like in previous semester, I use both. Uh, I use hybrid mode, meaning uh, I use synchronous and asynchronous sessions. So my uh, course last semester is management science. Okay, so management science so, uh, involve a lot of calculation as well. So asynchronous sessions, I use lesson. Okay. Um, and then, okay, when uh, after students go through the asynchronous sessions, okay, uh, they will, uh, or I do, uh, or I did synchronous session to uh, Zoom or Webex, okay, to discuss uh, some exercise and maybe uh, answer some question related to the topic. Huh? So that's how I conduct my uh, course last semester. Okay. So this is uh, some, uh, a bit uh, information about what is a synchronous learning punya advantage and disadvantages. Okay, of course, advantage to uh, students can learn at their own time and pace. Okay, and then provide learning opportunity to students with poor internet connectivity. So if we 100% we do synchronous sessions, let's say through Zoom or Webex, okay, some of our students maybe cannot attend the class because of maybe uh, poor internet connectivity. Some of students, even my students, uh, they... Uh, actually message me because in their kampung or hometown they don't have internet so they need to go to town to for synchronous activity or so 
I think uh, for me lah, personally, I would recommend uh, to use a synchronous meeting. So synchronous uh, or Zoom through Zoom or Webex too, maybe just for the discussions, then that's fine. Lah. Okay, but uh, for me, the main content of or uh, of the topics, okay, I deliver through a synchronous meeting. Okay. But of course, asynchronous learning have some disadvantages lah. Uh, first, you need to prepare material in advance. Okay. Um, slides, everything. Kalau synchronous tu, you can just use your previous slide, buka Zoom, share screen, then you talk like you are giving lecture like normal. No problem. Okay, but asynchronous learning, okay, maybe you need to do some uh, modification on your slides, okay. So that uh, students, when they read, they have more uh, or better understanding. Okay, um, and then uh, for a synchronous learning as well, um, it reduces students' learning experience and uh, it's kind of hard to evaluate or measure the student participations or end level of understanding. For example, if we do uh, session in class, for example, uh, let's say. Uh, after we discuss or we give our lecture um, in let's say one subtopic, sub okay, then we from their upper, uh, face, facial expression to somehow we able to evaluate, lah, okay, measure whether they understand or not. So we can repeat the uh, sessions again. Or sometimes within the class, so we, uh, between subtopic, sometimes we give them break. Okay, sometimes we give uh, some activities in between the subtopic. Okay, uh, kita bagi pop quiz sometimes, or sometimes we do some in-class activities like mind mapping. Okay, uh, or maybe we just randomly ask them some question and then uh, ask them to answer. So there's interactions. Okay, uh, and then we can repeat the uh, the content again. Okay, if we feel that uh, maybe they need more explanation. So, uh, if we, uh, but uh, with uh, online, especially synchro uh, asynchronous learning, okay, it's very hard to do that, okay, especially when we just upload the slide or the videos and then uh, upload some activities, okay, please do my mapping. Kita tak boleh buat macam uh, in class. So, okay, lepas habis baca slide ni, we stop, okay, and then you do my mapping first. Okay, and then okay, continue baca balik slide. Okay, it's hard to do that if we just merely uploading our materials in uh, Elite. Okay, so this is what we always do lah. Okay, uh, in conducting our asynchronous uh, learning in Elite, we just upload uh, okay the videos, maybe uh, the original videos. Okay or maybe we get some uh, videos from YouTube or sometimes we do the synchronous uh, session first, okay? And then we just upload the Zoom recording, okay? To do uh, to those students who maybe cannot join the uh, session, the synchronous sessions, okay? And then we just dump everything in the elite. We dump our teaching slide, notes, reference book, article, lepas tu suruh dia orang baca saja. Without, sometimes without any instructions to what they should focus, what they should read first, for example, which one they, uh, which one is the main reference, which one is maybe uh, extra reading and whatnot. Okay, and then we create, because we need to create activities and assessment, kita, we, we just do it, okay. Uh, without any structure, okay. Uh, like I said before lah, kalau dalam kelas dulu, maybe after certain subtopic, we stop and then we do my mapping. But if you just merely uploading all the materials, all the activities, assessment, so suka hati lah student tu nak buat masa bila kan. So meaning some of them, maybe they just keep reading the slide and then do the activities and the assessment straight away. Okay. But, okay using lesson okay so that's what i also did uh, previously uh, before i had discovered lesson but with lesson 
you actually do all these things, okay, uploading pre-recorded videos, you upload the slides, and then you can create activities and assessment, but with a structure, structure that, of course, lah, you need to plan how you want to structure the lesson, but uh, you can structure similar to what you uh, want to do in a physical class, okay. So later I'll show you some example lah. Mungkin sekarang ni masih blur lagi apa yang lesson tu boleh buat. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, okay, this is the definitions of the lesson tool in Elip lah. Okay, kalau baca the definitions pun uh, susah juga nak faham sebenarnya. Okay, um, so I guess uh, I will share a screen uh, to uh, my Elip page yang lesson tu. Okay, sekejap lah. So, mungkin boleh senang faham sikit apa yang lesson tu boleh buat sebenarnya. Mana nak stop share ni. Okay. okay, sekejap lah. I share uh, screen uh, my elite page. Okay, boleh nampak? Okay. okay, so uh, yang ni my elite page last semester lah, management science, okay. Okay, so this is where I create my lesson, so each lesson for each uh, learning unit lah, okay, in my class. So here saya ada lima, sebab lagi dua minggu tu saya buat presentation. Okay, so let's look into here lah. Yang ni saya dah set student ah student view so how student will view a uh, lesson so they can click here okay let's say we click linear programming okay so dia akan keluar kat sini okay ah uh, yang ni definitely you need to create all these things lah whatever materials here yang ni saya buat lah okay so uh, normally my first uh, uh, page of my lesson tu dia akan keluar macam instructions and guideline okay so lepas uh, the students read all these things, everything, okay, they tekan this one, slide, linear programming. Okay. Okay, then, okay, adalah saya letak sikit instruction, so please download the slide and read before watching videos in this lesson. So, I give two, uh, two, two versions of slide lah, one in PDF, one in PowerPoint, so, uh, it's okay lah kan, kalau, because some student they, they they read slide in mobile phone so it is better for you to give in PDF as well okay, so because it's easier to navigate PDF in phone rather than you give PowerPoint okay, so after they download, okay, after the student download and read the slide okay, okay, hopefully they read the slide lah, okay so they, okay, they can Click here, next introductions. Okay, so here ada juga progress bar. So that's mean, okay, uh, by looking at this slide, uh, this this page now, okay, I, the student already complete 10% lah of the lesson. Okay, so they know the progress. Okay, so they click next introduction. So this is where I put the teaching videos. So this is from YouTube. Okay, for me, I don't really, uh, I'm not no, uh, I don't do uh, videos, all my videos are pre-recorded and no. So some of them I get from YouTube. So if I think I, I cannot get uh, appropriate or suitable video from YouTube, then I will record. Lah. Okay, do my own video. So the student from here, they can watch the YouTube, for example. Okay. So this is one subtopic, lah. okay this subtopic under linear programming, okay, about optimization problem. So once they finish this video, then they can continue to the next subtopic, okay. Okay. Okay, this one is original video, okay. So I record, okay, using a uh, screen o and then I upload in uh, Google Drive, and then I share here, okay, in lesson. So student can just view from uh, 
This one lah, lesson lah. Yang ni kita dah masuk lah, dia punya lesson tu lah. Okay. So this is the original video lah. Okay. Then after uh, this video, so okay after they watch this video, then, then they can click next. If they want to go to previous video pun boleh dekat, dekat sini. Okay. So they can click next. Okay. So I have another video. Okay. So they can watch. Okay, so this is uh, another subtopic lah under uh, linear programming. Okay, so a lot of videos. Okay, okay, and then next, okay, after uh, watch this video, okay, and then in between subtopic, okay, tadi baru 50% sebenarnya the previous study. Lepas tu saya bagi question. Okay, so I uh, have some instruction here. Okay. So because this one is um, calculation in your class, so I just ask that uh, I just uh, post or upload the question here, but they need to submit through uh, Google form. So they need to write the answer in a plain white paper, and then take picture or scan and then upload to Google form. Okay, dekat sini submission link ni uh, saya tak bagi lagi because at the end of this lesson ada lagi satu exercise. Okay. So this exercise, question one and question two actually referring to the previous subtopic lah yang dalam lesson tadi. Kan tadi ada lebih kurang empat video, three or four videos before this exercise, right? Okay, so that, uh, this exercise is for uh, the previous videos lah or subtopic. Okay, so at least they know, okay, this exercise is okay related to the previous uh, subtopic. Okay, so maybe they can take their time and then do this uh, exercise first. Okay, before move to the next uh, subtopic. Okay, then uh, okay, next subtopic ada lagi video. Okay, okay, and then uh, this one also original video. Okay, saya mix ah, tapi banyak memang original video lah. Sebab susah juga nak cari video dalam YouTube kan. Okay. okay, I think okay, this is the final video and then next, okay, exercise. So I have another exercise. So this is my class activities lah, I said, okay. So activities, so, okay. So this is another exercise, question number three, okay, related to uh, uh, subtopic, okay, after the exercise, uh, question one and question two already, okay. So here, uh, saya bagi sekali link, okay, Google Form, where they need to submit all the exercise, okay, answer, take pictures, and then submit the exercise to Google Form. So like I said before, normally I will, uh, I have uh, two modes uh, for my uh, course last semester, asynchronous sessions and synchronous. So they need to go through this lesson first, okay, and then do the exercise. Okay, so I normally I will release this uh, this uh, lesson about minimum three or four days lah minimum before my synchronous session or we back or Zoom session. So at least they have time to digest, they have time to do the exercise. Okay, and then they submit. So during the synchronous session uh, using Zoom or Webex, we will discuss about the exercise punya answer, how to do, okay, and if they don't understand about the exercise or maybe if they don't understand about uh, the content of the uh, certain subtopic, for example, they can just ask me lah, okay. But the main uh, delivery of the content for all subtopic, uh, okay, after yang midterm break tu, uh, I deliver through uh, lesson, okay. So after after they finish uh, or they come to this page, okay, this uh, question yang number three ni, okay, they boleh tekan end of lesson lah. Okay, sekarang dah 90%. End of lesson, okay, so you dah complete. So using this, okay, okay, okay I return to my normal role lah kat sini, okay. Uh, a good thing, uh, one more advantage lah, okay, as a... Uh, uh, lecturer, okay. If you use lesson, dia ada report kat sini. If you click report, 
Okay Kat sini ada ni Okay, tengok nama siapa tak complete Habis lesson tu Okay, tahulah okay Adur white ni dia buka uh, That's mean yang ini dia, dia finish lah Dia finish and then uh, She go through the lesson In about one hour Okay, ada orang sampai tiga kali buka Okay, not complete ni Sometimes because they don't click end of lesson lah Sometimes they go through everything but they just don't click end of lesson Jadi, okay But at least, okay You know, okay Whether the students Okay, go through your um, materials or not Go through your lesson or not If you just upload your videos Or you just upload your slide Okay, you never know Whether the student actually Click, open Open tu dah satu hal, baca pun belum tentu lagi kan Okay Okay, of course lah, yang ini pun kadang-kadang They go through the, uh, the lesson Okay But uh, still uh, Mungkin ada juga yang dia just klik, 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 klik Contoh yang ni kan, satu minit je ni, cepat sangat ni kan Mungkin dia klik, 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 klik saja We never know But then uh, as I said again, yang not complete ni because they don't click end of lesson So kemungkinan, okay uh, Sebab yang ni pun June, yang ni August, okay So kemungkinan dia dah go through everything, okay Tapi dia terlupa tekan end of lesson tu lah But at least, okay you have some information whether uh, the student uh, watch the videos or go through the lesson Okay, so I stop sharing this uh, uh, screen Okay, so I go back to my uh, slide So basically that's what lesson uh, can do lah Okay So basically that's what lesson can do At least uh, you can uh, design um, a, a lesson lah kan okay? uh, A lecture or online uh, learning okay? In a more structured way So you can stop between subtopic tu You can add macam uh, like me I put exercise So maybe for some other courses If you want to in between subtopic tu, if you want your student to do some mind mapping pun boleh If you do, uh, you want to ask uh, like pop quiz, okay, question pun boleh Okay So that one is up to your creativity lah Okay uh, What kind of activities you want to include in your uh, lesson Okay, what kind of uh, assessment you want to include in your lesson Okay Okay, so this is uh, so uh, advantages of lesson lah. <coughs> so you are able to design okay uh, more structured uh, teaching and learning activities okay and measure your student participation okay uh, through the report so lah okay and then by that you also can enhance student learning experience at least they know okay. Uh, what they need to do Okay, they need to watch this uh, Certain videos first, read the slide first And then only after they Complete certain subtopic Then they can do certain uh, question or certain activities And then they can continue To the next subtopic And then after that uh, Do some other activities or assessment So at least Okay uh, In terms of just Nampak link, video link Quiz saja lepas tu, ah, suka hati lah, malas lah nak baca slide kan Some student is like that, malas lah nak baca slide Terus buat quiz lah, terus buat mind map saja lah kan okay. So at least um, In a structure way, okay, you can uh, design and, uh, Your uh, lesson or your activities And then by that, you also enhancing your students learning experience And definitely I think it will improve student uh, understanding lah, okay, at least they know what to do But of course, um, you need to prepare certain guidelines and instruction first lah So that they know what they need to do Okay, so this is uh, a bit about lesson, okay uh, So lepas ni a bit technical lah, okay And then at the end of uh, the slide tu, saya akan uh, show some uh, demonstrations on how to To set the lesson in unit, 
Okay, just a basic one sebab uh, actually the lesson tu you can be more creative be uh, your lesson actually can be more complicated than mine yang saya punya lesson tadi is linear linear meaning dia ada one path saja meaning after this slide is this slide after this slide is this slide okay but actually you can design for example after certain uh, slide okay student can choose okay whether they want to learn about topic 1 or topic 2 okay if they choose topic 1 dia punya path dia lain you can actually do that okay tapi saya belum lagi lah uh, tahap tu for me is better just uh, provide a linear uh, linear i mean apa lah, linear progression pun should be okay lah for me okay okay um tadi saya dah tunjuk um uh, i show you some uh, lesson okay uh, one lesson one of my lesson okay so all those um uh, page lah, saya panggil page lah, okay. all those pages uh, is I use content page okay. actually in lesson there are two type of page one is content, one is question okay. so content tu meaning you can dump your materials, your instructions okay. you can upload uh, your material, teaching slide macam slide yang second slide, uh, second page tadi kan saya letak slide kan Okay, so you can upload your slide, you can upload your videos, okay, you can link or embed something uh, like me, I put the link to Google Form, okay, uh, video tu pun sebenarnya bukan saya upload uh, uh, in Elip ah, original video tadi tu bukan saya upload dalam Elip uh, directly, actually I upload in Google Form, uh, sorry, Google Drive and then I embed Okay, uh, later I show you uh, uh, that one, so no worries. Okay, so that is content page. Okay, the next is question page. Okay, question page ni uh, saya tak guna langsung uh, question page dalam saya punya lesson. Okay, never use. But um, you can use question page uh, in between your content page. Macam saya tadi, saya pakai um, yang exercise tadi kan. Okay. So all those exercise that I have in my lesson, actually I'm using content page instead of question page. Okay. Because why I use content page instead of question page is because uh, I want to, I want the students uh, to do on their own paper because calculation, saya nak tengok dia orang buat calculation tu. And then uh, at least I know lah whether they, they do correctly or not. Okay, question page. Okay, uh, there are some um, uh, limitations lah. If you want to post question using question page. Okay, later I'll, I'll go through this one uh, in detail a bit. Uh, maybe in the next slide I think or maybe two or three slides after this. Okay, but basically question page, you can add question between the content page. Okay, uh, macam quiz jugalah lebih kurang dalam elite look. Okay, and then you can allocate marks. That means, let's say you uh, use question page, okay, and then question tu dalam bentuk MCQ. You use MCQ in your question page. And then you ask students, so after certain uh, content page tu, or subtopic videos ke, slide ke, okay, uh, akan appear this question, certain question, okay, and then the student answer. Okay, so if you want to allocate mark, okay, for that particular uh, question or sets of questions, okay, then you can add. So meaning kalau you buat MCQ, senanglah macam quiz dalam elite. So once the student answer, nanti de dekat report tu nanti dia akan keluar dia punya report lah, uh, marks student tu dapat berapa, so you can just export that marks into your, uh, apa, my mark. Okay, but that uh, is up to you. Uh. It's not compulsory to allocate mark actually. And it is also not compulsory to have question page in a lesson. Like me, I don't have any question page langsung. Okay, semua dari content page, I use content page. Okay, so getting started. Okay, what you need to do, okay, before create your lesson in Elip, first, 
definitely you need to prepare your materials. Okay, and then please do not, uh, I mean, you have a very long one hour, two hours video. Okay, because it's not very effective, I think. Okay, it's better for you to break into a topic or subtopic. Okay. And then if you create or upload long duration videos, uh, people, uh, students will get bored. Okay. So I use, uh, for my original videos, uh, I use screen o -matic. screen o -matic, a free version is 15 minutes. For me, that's enough. 15 minutes is just a uh, long, uh, good enough. Lah. Okay. Not too short, not too long, 15 minutes. Okay. So I try my best to cover uh, subtopic. Okay one subtopic or maybe two subtopic in a 15 minute video. Okay. And then please plan your lesson. Okay. The sequence because let's say you break up uh, your videos. Okay. Or your teaching videos or your materials into subtopic and topic. Okay. You should uh, plan uh, design. Okay. Which come first? Which video? Okay. Then after the video, what's next? Is it uh, you want to give some activities or you want to give some uh, question, you want to do pop quiz, okay, you want them to do some what mind mapping, okay, so what kind of questions, okay, that things you need to plan ahead, okay, so get ready with your materials, okay, and then um, another thing that is good with lesson is, okay, after, uh, at the end of the lesson, macam saya tadi, end of lesson, click, dia cakap you have complete this lesson. Okay. But actually you can uh, link, okay, your lesson to other activities or other assessment tools in ELIP. Right after they finish the lesson. For example, let's say you want to do online quiz. You want all students after they do um, after they complete the lesson, okay, you want them to take online quiz in ELIP. Okay, so you can link. Nanti dia akan keluar. Nanti saya, uh, uh, during the demonstration tu, I show you lah where to, where to set all those things. Okay, nanti dia akan bagi link. So if you click end of lesson, nanti dia akan keluar link where you can, uh, where the student can straight away answer the online quiz, for example. So if you want to have that kind of activities, okay, after the lesson, okay, first please create that activity first. Okay, kalau you nak buat contoh lepas that lesson, you nak buat online quiz. Make sure you create that online quiz first sebelum you create lesson. Sebab nanti dekat setting tu, kalau you tak buat, nanti dia tak keluar lah. Okay, so make sure you do at least tak tambah lagi soalan, tak apa, never mind. Okay, but at least you need to create the activity. Okay. Okay, and then um, please prepare guideline and instruction for your students. Okay. If you just merely just dump everything, okay, and then walaupun ada sequence, but then it's more or less the same as you dumping every materials in uh, in ellipse. Lah. Okay. So please. Uh, prepare guideline and instruction. Of course, some of the student doesn't <laughs> read the instruction, but at least, okay, uh, you can just point point out to them, uh, please read the guideline and instruction, okay, before you go through the lesson. Okay, so this is the basic settings. Huh? Okay, once you create, uh, later I'll show you, uh, okay, but, but uh, now I just want to explain the, some basic settings in lesson. Of course, you uh, we have availability and time limit. Any macam quiz biasa lah, okay? Ada time, uh, day, time, okay? And then duration that you can set, okay? And then progress bar, tadi kan ada dekat bawah tadi, progress bar, okay? So, you can choose to turn off the progress bar actually. But for me, uh, I think it's better for students to know, okay? How, uh, how long, okay? Or... Uh, what is their progress uh, into the lesson as well, okay. You can set uh, password and some other restrictions, okay. But normally, saya tak set lah yang ni, okay. 
and then uh, flow control okay yang ini maybe uh, a bit different from other uh, tools that we normally use in elip okay kalau macam quiz ke assignment we don't have this flow control okay because uh, of lesson so dia ada flow flow dia okay so you can uh, they have some setting okay to control the flow as well okay and then grid Okay, let's say if you plan to have a question page in the lesson, okay, so this is important. Okay, if you uh, plan to not have any question page like me, tadi saya tak ada question page langsung, ha? then you can ignore or you can skip this setting. Okay, so if you have, uh, you want to have question page, make sure you select all this one. Okay, later I'll go through, ha? okay during the demonstration uh, but this one just for the sake of uh, uh, slides uh, okay and maybe you can read from here okay um, okay this one later i think i show during the demonstrations are uh, later okay so about the question page okay first it's not compulsory to have a question page in your lesson and then i think this question page also have some limitation because only one question will appear in each page. That means kalau you nak buat macam pop quiz ataupun small quiz but you want to ask uh, four question. Okay, that means you need to create four page. Four question page. So for me it's not uh, really effective lah and not efficient as well. Okay. Um, and then uh, 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 there are similarities uh, with this question page and uh, quiz okay in terms of the type of question so in question page uh, you have true and false question you have uh, you can choose mcqs short answer essay matching and numerical type of question but like in quiz i think most of us are using true and false and maybe short answer okay um and then um okay uh, you need to, of course, input res dalam question page later on in the settings. You need to input the response whether uh, that is a correct answer or wrong answer. Okay, and then you need to put the score value for each answer, everything. Okay, this is the setting in the question page. Lah. Okay, but if you choose to have uh, essay in your question page, the score need to be input manually. Okay, so like me. Tadi yang saya tunjuk tadi ya. So I don't use question page. All those exercise exercises tu, actually I'm using content page. I just upload the question there, and then they need to submit in a different platform. Okay. Okay. So before we go to the demonstrations, so this is some tips and tricks lah. Okay, how to. To design or to build your lesson. Okay, the first one, please provide the very clear guideline and instruction to your student on the first page of the lesson. Okay. And then upload slide or any reading materials. Okay. On the second slide. If you want them, okay, or uh, your student, okay, to read, okay, before viewing your teaching videos. Okay. Because uh, previously, okay, yang tadi yang linear programming tu saya letak on the second slide. Okay, uh, linear programming tu I think the minggu dah few weeks ah. Okay, but in the first two weeks I think, okay, I put the slide dekat tempat lain. Okay, not in lesson. I put slide outside lesson. Meaning dekat normal elite page biasa lah. They need to download first, lepas tu baru pergi lesson. Um, when I did that, uh, most of student dia macam tertinggal slide tu. Dia tak baca, dia terus tengok video. Okay. So, some of them dia tak faham sangat sebab dia terus dia tengok video. Okay. So, at least um, if you put the slide into your um, into your lesson and then put on the second page. Huh? Okay. Jangan letak dekat instruction tu. Okay. The first week saya letak dekat luar slide. The second week saya letak dekat dalam lesson tapi saya letak 
I put in the guideline dengan instruction. So a lot of student as well, dia tengok instruction, dia tak baca pun, dia terus skip. Sedangkan slide ada kat bawah. Okay, so that's why for me, okay, this one after trial and error lah, okay. If you want to put your slide, okay, put in lesson and then put on the second page after your uh, guideline and instruction. Okay, and then please do not upload too many materials into one content page, okay. Jangan letak sampai 10 video dalam dalam one content page tu, okay. Buat page baru, okay. And then uh, if you have, um, uh, walaupun topik tu mungkin pendek, dia punya video tu mungkin 3 minutes, okay. Please, uh, tapi different subtopic, please use different uh, page, okay. And then do not mix your material slides with activities, mind map ke apa, okay. So if videos, only videos, okay. Unless that slide or the material is um, not necessary for them to read, then that's fine. If you want them to read, make sure in different slide. Okay, sebab they tend to miss out, uh, let's say you letak, lepas video tu ada lagi satu slide dekat bawah. They tend to miss out those slide. Okay, so kalau you nak letak some reading material after your video, put into the next uh, content page. Okay. okay, this one is to upload the videos. Later I'll show you how uh, in demonstration. Okay, so <clears throat> a lot of lecturer, okay, when they upload videos, okay, at first mungkin dia upload directly at first before we have this 10 megabyte restriction limit. Okay, mungkin dia upload video terus dalam elite. Okay. Lepas tu Elip buat setting sebab semua orang nak upload video saja kan. Okay. Uh, memory pun dah tak cukup. Okay. Storage pun dah tak cukup. So ada restriction. 10 megabyte. Okay. If you want to upload any materials in Elip. Okay. So you most of lecturer okay, will upload in YouTube or Google Drive or One Drive and then just send the link, okay. Just put link, share link, terus tengok video. Uh, so if the student want to watch the video, they need to click the link and then another pop-up will come up, then they need to watch in another browser windows or maybe if you give YouTube videos, then the YouTube app pula akan keluar kalau they watch in mobile phone lah, okay. But for me personally lah, I think um, that's very inconvenient. If I'm a student, okay, tiba-tiba ada pula pop-up baru nak keluar, kena buka apps baru pula, time tu lah, phone nak hang, ataupun time tu lah, YouTube minta up, apa update apps kan. So macam-macam. So it's better for you to embed your video into your lesson or into your elite so that the student can watch directly in Elite without having to open up a new windows or new application. Okay. And then if you embed, okay, using embed, okay, uh, you embed uh, the, uh, uh, apa, uh, from, normally I will use Google Drive or YouTube lah. Okay. This 10 megabyte upload restriction is not applicable. That's mean, let's say you punya, you take videos using screen or matic, okay. My video actually more than 20 megabyte. All of them, more or less, okay. About 18 to 25 megabyte, okay. So it doesn't apply that 10 megabyte restriction, okay. So you can actually uh, take uh, let's say you use different software, okay, for example lah, kalau macam let's say Zoom, Zoom recording sangat besar, Zoom recording sangat besar, if you use uh, recording, uh, you use PowerPoint, okay, we can record kan, PowerPoint new presentation tu kan, okay, that is very big, okay, compared to screen or matic. But if you use PowerPoint, okay, and then you upload in Google Drive or YouTube and then you embed in your lesson or in your elite, 
Okay, okay, no problem. Walaupun your video original video tu satu gigabyte pun tak apa. Okay, <laughs> sebab it doesn't apply. Okay, later I'll show you lah how to to do this during the demonstration. And then uh, like any other tools, okay, please preview your lesson to check for any potential issue. Especially yang tadi ada button yang previous, next, apa semua tu kan. So that one actually you need to set in uh, setting later. Okay, so make sure that that uh, apa, that button is uh, functioning well. Okay. okay, and then please consider your student internet connectivity as well lah. For me, I do not set any end date or time limit. No, I just start date. Mungkin saya buat lesson tu awal, awal seminggu daripada sepatutnya. So, I just uh, set the start date. Okay, but end and time limit, no. Okay, sebab maybe student internet connection tak bagus. So, mungkin dia tengok satu video and then dia, okay, internet tak bagus. So, he need or he or she needs to watch again in some other day, some other time. So, please do not uh, put end date and time limit lah. Okay, uh, Ujian, and then please allow... Ada Adin? soalan, Kak Yong ni ada soalan. Ah uh, Ya. Yeah. Tapi kalau macam, kalau tak ada limit masuknya the whole semester dia boleh access ataupun dia bagi time limit at least seminggu ataupun dua minggu. Sebab macam saya, uh, lesson tu saya tak ada time limit tapi kan saya bagi exercise kan tadi kan. Okay. Okay. Exercise tu ada limit. Okay, I see. Okay, okay. Nak view tu saya tak kisah. Nak view tu lepas dia hantar exercise, dia nak tengok lagi pun terpulang pada dia lah. Okay, betul. Okay, but kalau if you have some activities or you link your lesson with some assessment, uh, assessment tu buat limit. Exercise tu buat limit. Activities tu buat limit time. Tapi untuk view video tu jangan buat. And then please allow your student to retake or review the lesson again. Okay, because some some student, dia suka dia buka, dia tengok. Oh, belajar apa uh, topik ni. Dia klik, ya, next, 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 next. If you don't allow that, habis ya, dia tekan end of lesson sebenarnya dia nak tengok sekali ya, dia nak tengok dulu je. Lepas tu dia tak boleh ambil balik. Okay, so kesian jugalah kan. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, please provide some uh, alternative sources lah to download the materials. Okay, uh, OneDrive yang ni, uh, normally yang ini kalau betul-betul student tu perlu, okay, saya tak, for, uh, like me, I don't actually uh, tell all students that I provide this one lah. <laughs> alternative sources to download. Kalau tak, nanti semua tak, tak nak tengok semua pergi uh, Google Drive tu saja ataupun Dropbox. Okay. So only for those that I know or he or she personally contact me that uh, okay sir I cannot even watch the lesson okay uh, then baru saya akan bagilah okay the link okay okay yang ini macam yang saya tunjuk tadi report tadi kan saya memang screenshot yang ini saya letak kat whatsapp group and then I tell them that I know okay uh, whether you watch or you complete the lesson or not. Okay. Uh, lepas tu kelang kabut dia orang buat. <laughs> dia orang, I mean they watch. Okay. Sebab they know that we are watching them. We are monitoring them whether they really uh, go through the lesson or not. And then how long. Okay. Just sajalah nak bagi macam takutkan sikit kan dia orang kan. Okay. If you just dump your materials in ELIP tak buat lesson ni you never know siapa yang buka, siapa yang tak buka you bukan tahu pun kan okay. student pun tahu yang you tak tahu dia orang tengok ke tak so ah, ah, sir bukan tahu pun kita buka ke tak kan tak payahlah tengok tak payahlah tengok video tu buat quiz terus for example okay. but if you let them know okay, at least they have some uh, macam push lah okay, to, to go through the lesson okay. so demo uh, I go to the demo after this, okay. So, ada tiga part lah, okay, basically. First is how to create and setting up lesson, okay. Next is de developing lesson ni, meaning uh, how to design your lesson. Macam mana nak upload content, apa semua, what button. This one ni macam you just set basic setting lah. Okay, ni lah. Number one is 
like the basic setting. The second one is developing lesson in meaning uh, to how to upload the content into your lesson. Okay, number three is specifically on how to upload your videos in lesson, not necessary in lesson, in Elite actually. Okay, uh, using YouTube or Google Drive. Okay, so that student can watch directly in your Elite. Okay, this is the purpose. Ha. Ini bukan upload link saja. How to upload so that uh, student can watch in your Elite page. Okay, so I stop share this one. Okay, I will go through, um, I show you, uh, the, share you the elite, uh, so take it, uh, my elite page. Jai, ada soalan. Uh, kalau ada soalan, tanya je. Uh, yang uh, progress bar tu, only the students can see, isn't it? Apa? Student can see. Progress yeah. bar. Student yeah. can see. Tapi yeah. kita tak boleh tengok eh. Uh, student mana yang dah dah tengok the lesson and all that tak boleh. Uh, dia yang macam ni saja. Dia akan keluar macam ni saja. Complete or not complete saja. Yes. Okay. Dia tak, dia tak keluar. Yang itu pun uh, uh, yang itu apa ni lah. Moodle punya apa punya setting lah. Memang dia hanya akan keluar macam ni saja. So okay. kalau dia ada keluar uh, duration tu meaning yang ni complete lah. Hmm. Tapi kalau not complete ni, not necessarily dia tak go through semua. Sometimes just because they don't click end of lesson button. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, Hi. but at least lah, but at least somehow you know lah student mana yang dah tengok, dah okay. uh, tengok kan. At least you tahu lah. Okay. okay. Ha, contoh macam ni. Dia complete ni, tapi satu minit. Maksud dia... <laughs> Maksud dia? Masa tu maksudnya okay. masa yang dia spend with the lesson ke apa? Apa? Complete. Masa yang dalam kurungan tu yes. masa menunjukkan masa yang dia spend uh, with the lesson or Masa dia complete the lesson Sekali oh. dia buka tu dia tekan sampai dia tekan next, 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 habis macam tu ha, So meaning one minute six second ni lah confirm dia tekan next, next, next lah Oh. Okay. So in my WhatsApp group memang kadang-kadang saya I just Ah, ni Aina ni kenapa satu minit ya ni <laughs> Lepas tu dia orang tak berani buat dah lah Ah, okay nah, Okay, awal-awal ni mungkin dia orang takut sikit lah kan Kena hmm. betul lah Nanti dia orang akan tahu lah So saya dah buat tapi dia keluar nak compete juga Saya memang dah go to lah Then uh, you can say lah Okay, that's because you don't click the end of lesson punya button Okay, okay. Okay, so saya keluar dulu dekat sini. Uh, so, uh, boleh nampak kan? Ini ni kan? Okay, saya buka juga. Uh, so, we create, uh, I show you how to create from scratch lah. Okay. Okay, so, biasa kat sini lah. Add an activity or resource. Okay, kat sini lesson. Okay, dia bawah activity dekat bawah sikit lah. Okay, normally we use assignment, apa lagi? Yang biasa kita guna lah. Mungkin ada lah journal ke group. Okay. Choice. Yeah. Ha, choice. Yang tu yang standard lah. Hmm. Uh, lesson ni jarang orang guna. Okay, so just add lesson. Okay, name. Normally you letak subtopic tu lah. Okay, contoh lah kan. Uh, we just start. Uh, Online lesson, biasanya dia akan letak ini, nilai subtopik apa. Okay, contohlah kita letak by size ni lah eh. Okay, so some description, normally saya akan letak juga some description. Okay, so this is uh, uh, online okay. lesson for the topic of size contohlah kan. Okay, and then maybe you can have some uh, brief uh, instructions lah, okay. Contoh lah, please read guideline on the first page of the lesson. Contoh lah kan, okay. okay. So normally saya akan letak description ni on the course page. Okay, appearance, progress bar actually default dia no lah. So you need to put yes kalau you nak tunjuk lah. Okay. 
Um, ya ini biasanya minimum grade to display menu. Uh, okay. Ya ini, ya ini kalau you ada uh, question page, ah, okay. So you can click this one. Dia ada score dia. Lepas dia buat question tu ada score dia semua. Display menu ni kalau dia dah go through everything, dia boleh nampak tak menu balik semua. Page balik dalam tu. Okay. Normally saya tak letak pun. Nak letak yes ke no for me, this one is not important lah. Uh, slide show ni um, dia akan keluar jadi macam slide show atau powerpoint slide show tu. Presentation tu. So selalunya saya letak no lah. Okay ni. Okay, because some student they open their elite using uh, smartphone. So maybe that's not very compatible. So I just click no this one. Maximum number of answer this one is if you have question page in your lesson. Okay. So this is where uh, previously I said you can link the lesson to the next activity. So let's say lepas okay, lesson ni kan. Saya nak buat quiz contoh. So make sure you do, you create the quiz first, nanti dia akan appear kat sini. Okay. So contohlah kan, saya nak letak quiz, yang ni quiz lah contohlah. Okay. Letak quiz. Okay. Then availability, uh, biasanya saya tak letak lah yang ni. Okay. Semua tak letak. Okay. Flow control. Okay. Ujai kalau tak letak availability maksudnya dia available all the time lah kan? Okay all the time. Okay. So kalau you letak dia akan follow yang you letak ni lah. Okay. So that one up to you lah. But for me um, I think better just open. Okay until at the end of the semester. Time limit pun tak payah letak lah. Okay. Allow student to review. Uh, normally I put yes. Okay if you want to you don't know what is this setting is for, then you can just click here lah. Itu boleh baca lah. Okay. So normally I put review yes. Okay. Then if you have a question, then you can uh, set lah whether you want the, the student have the opportunity to answer the question again. Okay. Without any mark allocated. Okay. Kalau you ada question dalam you punya lesson tu, using question page. Okay. Lepas tu you bagi markah. Okay, some student dia jawab wrong answer. Lepas so, tu you nak bagi tak? Dia nak try lagi sekali. Tapi markah tak dapat lah. Saja-saja try. <laughs> okay. Uh, then up to you lah kan. Okay. Kalau you ada question page. If you don't have question page, yang ni tak kisahlah you nak letak apa pun. Okay. Uh, same with maximum number of attempt lah. Only if you have question. So for me, yang ini sebab saya normally I don't use uh, question page sebab for me, uh, I better put uh, like macam saya buat tadi lah. I just use content page. Okay, upload my activity. Then they need to submit uh, some other day. Okay. Uh, using the different uh, platform. Okay. Okay, if you have question page, then uh, what is the action after correct answer? Okay, yang ni semua you boleh ni lah. Okay, kalau all this ah satu dua tiga empat ni only if you have question page okay kalau tak ada you can just ignore okay same with grade okay so let's say kat sini cubalah kan saya letak dua contohlah okay yang ni biar je uh, grade ni okay uh, saya cakap tadi saya dalam slide tu saya tulis apa lah point okay tak point so maximum grade contohlah kan Okay, if the student okay go through the lesson, you ada question dalam tu. Lepas tu kalau dia answer betul, dia dapat dua markah untuk dia punya cost punya markah tu kan. So you letaklah dua. Okay, kalau nak letaklah. Okay. Okay, practice lesson ni. Okay, kalau you ada question dalam tu. Okay, and then uh, because of some student, they like to go through yang macam tadi dia just click next, 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 next so kan. So, sebab you anticipate that a lot of student will do that, so it's better for you to click yes. Maksud dia, kalau dia tekan next, 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 next pun, the first one tu consider as practice. Okay? Mm. 
Okay, kalau tak, eh, tak no saja lah. Kalau tak ada question page pun, uh, ignore saja lah this one. Okay, retakes pun, yang ni only if you uh, have question page lah. Okay, biasanya kalau saya ni memang tak ada, saya biar je. So, let's say lah, kita nak, bagi, kita nak, nak buat question page nanti. Okay, let's, and then we want to allow them to uh, retake the question. Then tak yes lah. Okay, and then if you allow them to retake the question, Okay, so contoh dua kali. Jadi kita letak maximum number of attempt ni dua kali contoh kan. Okay, so bila dia retake tu dua kali nak pakai min ke, min score ataupun maximum yang paling tinggi antara dua ataupun average antara dua. So pilih lah. Okay. Only if you have question page lah this one. Kalau you tak ada question page, no need to bother with this setting. Okay, so the rest ni eh, for me um, not necessary lah unless you want to maybe set some restriction okay okay then save and return to course okay so now we have this one okay kenapa dia tak keluar tadi uh, oh ni tekan okay contoh kalau tekan display description tadi dia akan keluar uh, okay, ini eh. Okay, now that is the basic setting ah. Uh. Okay, now uh, we move to the second part on how to uh, actually develop or design our lesson. Okay, klik dekat sini. Okay, so sebab dia page dia kosong lagi, so you can uh, they 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 ask you a question lah. Uh, what kind of page you want to do? Okay, uh, selalunya first page tu bagi instruction. Okay, so when it is instructions, so add a content page lah. Okay, so you add content page. Okay, so that page punya title is, let's say you put that line. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, the content that you want to write lah on that particular uh, content page. Okay. Contoh lah kan, saya malas nak fikir lah ni, saya copy paste lah Konten uh, lama lah, sekejap lah saya okay, Contoh Okay, I just want to use the same instruction from this one Contoh lah Okay so, Saya copy je lah eh, saya malas So Okay Okay Okay, kalau nak bagi cantik ada apa, colour-colour macam tadi tu, you can Terus dekat sini lah kan. Okay. Okay semua, semua dekat sini. Okay. Okay dah. So we complete our first page. Okay. Then this is, this is the content ah, The content of the page. Meaning this one, this part. Okay. Tadi kan uh, dalam um, when I show you demonstration at uh, the first uh, apa ya uh, dekat awal-awal tadi okey kan ada button dekat sini next kan dekat sini tak ada eh sebab yang tadi view student eh so where to set that button is actually here dekat sini content one content two this is the action what are the action what are the button okey after the student uh, read this say guideline okey So normally I put descriptions ni, description is uh, uh, the statement that will appear in that button. Title button tu apa? Okay, normally I put next. So I will start uh, dia punya subtopic ataupun uh, materials lah. Okay, for activities. Okay, so jump next page. Okay, sebab this one is the first page, you letak the previous page. So content one, you letak next slide. Okay, and then jump to next page, then save page. Okay, so now you have your first page of your lesson. Okay. Okay, then the second page. Okay. Let's say you nak letak slide kan, tadi kita cakap next uh, page is slide. So slide is at a content page lah. Okay, so you start content page. So this one you start slide. Okay. 
Oh, by side. Same. Okay. Normally, please, uh, apa? Uh, write some instructions lah. Brief instructions. Okay, what your student need to do. Okay, for example, just download. 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 the slides okay before proceed to uh, okay. okay then you upload your slide here so kalau dalam sini how to upload your slide tekan uh, sorry ni I bagi you kat sini dulu lah slide 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 Okay, so you highlight this one and then go to this one, eh? link. Okay. Okay, so then first, okay, choose file, contoh, okay, you nak upload yang PDF, contoh lah. Okay, PDF. Okay, so upload this file. Okay, so ini dia dah, dia dah ada hyperlink kat sini, eh? so if student click here, nanti dia akan download uh, PDF tadi lah. So normally for hyperlink saya akan bold sikit lah. Lebih senang nampak sikit. Okay. Okay. Then that is the second con uh, second page. Okay. So description normally the first one is I put previous. Okay. So previous is the guideline tadi kan. Okay. So jump to previous page. Okay, and then content to. Content to meaning uh, button number two lah. Okay, button number two. Okay, saya letak next. Macam tu lah. And then this one, let's say lah, video one. Okay. And then sebab kita tak buat lagi uh, video one tu punya page. Okay, letak jump tu, letak next page tu tadi. Okay, then save page. Okay. So now you already created, uh, we already created two pages. The first one is uh, guidelines. Second one is the um, slide. Okay. Now the third one. Okay, let's say dekat sini tadi dia cakap uh, ada video kan. Okay. So let's say, okay, now we move to the third part of my demo tadi saya ada cakap uh, the third part is on how to upload videos from uh, YouTube and Google Drive kan. Okay. So let's say this one video. Okay. Okay, we do YouTube first lah. Okay. Was, let's say some brief. Instruction. Okay. So macam mana? Uh, nak embed the video into your lesson ataupun elip. Okay. Sebenarnya boleh juga buat ni benda sama je. Okay. Okay. So first Okay. Uh, contoh yang ni YouTube kan. So, kita buka YouTube dulu lah. Okay. Okay. YouTube Eh, apa? Nak buka apa? Okay, buka lah yang ni lah kan. Okay, contoh kita nak letak pasal COVID ni kan. Like this of myself. Oh. Oh, sorry. I can okay. just make a really cute one. Okay, contoh lah eh. We want to uh, embed this video into our lesson. Ataupun elite. Okay, first. Okay. Share. Ambil yang ni. Okay. Then copy. Okay. Then go back to your lesson page. Okay. Click this one. Okay. HTML. Here. Okay. Make sure you dah tekan space lah. Sampai sini. Okay. Okay. Lepas tu. Paste je. Okay. And then tutup balik. HTML. Okay, terus ada video. Okay. Senang. Okay, kalau YouTube senang lah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, 
this uh, video, the size, you can play around with the size. Okay, tapi normally uh, YouTube, dia punya size dia dah cantik dah for me lah. Okay, just nice. So if uh, Google, and later I show you lah in Google uh, Drive tadi, okay, uh, nanti saya akan, uh, I will show you how to adjust the uh, size of the video. Okay, sebab biasanya kalau Google Drive, uh, dia punya size dia tak cantik sangat. Okay. Okay, for example, kalau you nak, let's say lah, nak tengok lah size untuk YouTube ni berapa, you just click again HTML. So, this is the size actually. Okay, Fatik 0. Okay. Times berapa tadi? 315. Okay. Normally, saya punya Google uh, Drive video pun, I just follow YouTube punya uh, apa? size. Okay. Okay. So, habis. So, you dah embed dah you punya video. So, this one, okay, previous. Yes, previous one is tadi uh, slide kan. Okay. So, previous page ataupun kalau you nak letak slide pun boleh juga macam ni. Okay, up to you lah. Okay. So, let's say previous saja. Content tu is, let's say next. Next is video, video apa? Video YouTube. Okay. So, video tu lah. Okay. Same this page. Okay. So, now you already have how many page? One, two and three. So, let's say we want to add one more uh, content page. Okay. Add content page. Again. Okay, let's say this one we put video Google Drive. Okay. So, what's the following video? Okay. X, X, X. Okay. Ataupun about X, X, X. Your subtopic lah. Contoh lah. Okay. Google Drive, uh, dia punya cara nak embed tu a bit complicated. Okay. Tak adalah complicated. Tak sesenang YouTube lah. Okay. Okay. First, uh, let's say first you need to, definitely you need to upload your video into your Google Drive first. Okay. So, saya dah upload video. Uh, I just use whatever video I have in my Google Drive. Okay. Okay. Check the folder dalam ni. Okay, contoh kita ambil lah dunia programming juga lah tadi kan. Okay. So let's say we want to share this video. Uh, okay, graphical solution, this one. Okay, so you click this one. In this video. Okay, this one my original video lah yang uh, that I uh, record using screen automatic and I upload in Google Drive. So, after you upload, you open like this. First, okay. Tekan dekat sini. More action here. Okay, dalam ni dia tak ada. Untuk how to embed. So, what you need to do first is open in new window. Okay. Open in new window. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. Okay, before uh, okay before you embed, make sure okay you go share ni. Okay, make sure you change this one. Okay, by default this one they akan tulis restricted. Okay, by default ah they akan uh, keluar ini restricted by default. So what you need to do first? Okay, lepas you Okay, buka open in new window here, share. Okay, so change to anyone with the link. Okay, just make sure this one. Okay, anyone with the link, view. Okay, jangan bagi commenter ke editor pula. Okay, uh, because it, this is just for the student, just viewer. Okay, then done. You, you don't need to copy link this one. Uh. Done. And then click again here, more action. And then this one. Okay. Embed item. 
Okay, so this one uh, you can copy ya. Yeah. Okay, dia tak ada button copy tu. So, yeah, just click copy. Okay, okay. And then go back to your lesson page. Similar step here, HTML kat sini. Click here and then paste that code. Okay, and then okay, click again HTML. Okay, if you notice here, dia punya nampak kan, font dia macam pelik kan. Okay, because uh, dia punya height, dia punya ratio height and width tu is not uh, really compatible. Okay, with this, uh, I don't know, elite ke ya, apa ke, I'm not very sure. Tapi it's not look, not nice lah. Okay, so you change, uh, you can play around with the, um, apa, dia punya, uh, size, okay. So, tukar dekat sini. So, normally I will use uh, YouTube punya setting. YouTube punya setting tadi 560. Okay, height is P15. Okay, yang lain jangan kacau. Okay, only uh, adjust or uh, change the width and height here. Okay, and then close it again. Okay, ha. sekarang dia nampak macam okay sikit kan. Okay, tadi font dia nampak macam tinggi semacam. Okay, so that one up to you lah. Okay, so no, but me, I'm normally I just use uh, YouTube punya uh, dimension. Okay, so this is the uh, how to uh, upload the videos huh? in your or embed the videos in your lesson. Okay. Then content the button ah content ni actually the button okay so I put previous yes video uh, yang previous tadi video YouTube kan okay YouTube okay jump previous page this one next let's say lah you want to have a question page okay kalau oh, saya tak pernah uh, tak pernah guna tapi just just uh, let's try, okay. Let's see, question. Okay. Then this one next, okay. So, save page. Okay, ni dia keluar. Okay. Then let's say, tadi sebab kita nak try how to create the question page. So, let's add a question page here. So, in question page, first is you need to choose what type of question you want to use. Okay. So, let's say kita nak letak multi-choice lah, MCQ. Okay. Add a question page. Okay. Yang ni. Okay. Okay, page content is actually the uh, question, statement, okay, your question, what you want to ask, okay. Contoh, apa, what is lesson in this right. Okay, so this one is answer, okay. Answer is... Uh, Line. Okay, and then please put the response. Okay. Okay, jump to next page. Okay, score tadi, contoh kita tadi maximum score saya letak berapa tadi? Mungkin dua kot kan? Okay, so let's say score saya letak satu. Okay, answer two. Uh, okay, let's say ni apa? Lesson, book is oh okay. score zero okay let's say you want to have a uh, three uh, answer okay this one is yes okay kalau uh, untuk wrong answer better you put jump this page huh? okay 
kalau nak letak next pun sebenarnya boleh je kalau you memang tak nak bagi dia chance untuk redo Okay, score zero Score ni actually you nak letak negatif pun boleh ni Okay, negatif satu pun boleh Okay, then save page Okay, ha, dia akan keluar macam ni ya eh. Okay, this is your view ah. Eh. Your student view ah uh, slightly different lah This one is your view, you will see like this Okay Okay Let's say uh, for question, okay, satu question, satu page. That's why I don't prefer to use question uh, page in lesson. Sebab takkan nak tanya satu satu question saja kan? Okay, boleh lah kalau nak tanya. Bukan tak boleh. Tapi macam biasanya kita akan tanya one or two questions, okay. Or sometimes maybe more than that. So it's better for you not to use this uh, Um, question page if you have multiple question okay okay uh, next let's say uh, you habis the answer you have another uh, video contoh ha okay then let's say this one video two. okay so kita ambil dari youtube lah youtube senang sikit kan okay So let's see. Okay, mana mana dia video. Masih kesegaran cokelat ais. Rasa macam kafe daripada lima ringgit sekarang. Okay, so let's say you want to share this video, for example. Okay. Mana juga ini copy. Okay. Yo. Okay. 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 Dah keluar. Okay. Then previous. Normally, if you have question, previous is not question. Huh? Previous uh, content page. So previous content page um, is yang video Google Drive. Kan? Okay. So tak kisah ni video Google Drive. Okay, so yang ni dengan letak previous page ah, you can choose video Google Drive. Okay, so content tu, okay, because let's say this one is the uh, final, uh, I mean, the end of the lesson ah. Lepas ni you you don't have any other materials or video that you want your student to read or watch. So this one is maybe. Uh, start again. Contoh lah, if you want to put, then you can put start again. Okay. Okay, kalau start again tu, mungkin you nak start from uh, guideline. Contoh lah. Okay, guideline. Okay. Then content three and lesson. Okay, so this one, end of lesson. Then save page. Okay. Then preview. Okay. So this one edit lah. Nah. Uh, okay. So let's say if you want to edit the setting, okay. Uh, again or whatever content here, you click here. Okay. Update. Okay. If you want to delete here, this one if you want to change or to move the sequence. Okay. Let's say tiba-tiba ah -tiba, uh, nak tunjuk yang Google first lah baru. Um, YouTube, okay. So you can click here, okay. Move page. Okay, this one is the expanded uh, view ah uh, of this one. So dia ada juga collapse view, okay. Tapi collapse view dia macam ni lah. Okay, normally I will use ex expanded uh, version because at least I can see, okay, and or check at the same time, okay. Kok ada typo ke whatever lah, okay. And then preview. Okay, you can preview here. Ataupun you can preview. You change your role here to students. Pun boleh. Okay. So uh, selalunya saya akan preview dekat sini saja. Okay. Cuma kalau if you preview here, you cannot see the progress bar. Okay. But if you choose uh, this ni switch role to student, then you can see the 
uh, progress bar okay so let's say kita nak tengok progress bar kan so kita tekan switch for students okay ah uh, dia keluar kat sini ada progress bar okay then you check normally what i check during uh, preview ni okay of course ah uh, the content tu saya check kat kod kod ada typo and then the important thing is the button betul ke tak lepas ni dia pergi slide okay so you click next betul tak dia pergi slide okay betul then try download boleh ke tak download okay okay betul the slide pun betul okay okay then check balik betul ke previous ni dia pergi guidelines okay ha okay so betul then next video okay okay and then you check lah the button betul tak dia pergi slide balik everything okay so normally that what i do lah okay during preview i just check the button okay video ni normally should be okay lah okay sometimes video if you use google uh, drive you are Uh, you upload from Google Drive. Sometimes the video ni dekat dalam you punya internet browser, it will not appear like this. Kadang-kadang uh, dia grey. Okay. Sometimes it because uh, ada two things lah. Sometimes you just upload the video into Google and then if your video is very big, then it will take some time. Okay. So untuk keluar dekat sini. Second is uh, if uh, yang tadi share tadi kan dekat Google Drive tadi share tadi you letak restricted so if you put you don't change to anyone with the link dia takkan appear kat sini so if you upload from Google Drive make sure you try to click first lah you boleh tengok ke tak okay okay kalau boleh play mm -hmm. uh, then should be okay okay so tadi kita try buat question kan okay question. Ah dia akan keluar macam ni. Tapi satu soalan sajalah. Okay. So if you want um, to have five question then lepas tu dia akan ada pergi next slide lah, next uh, page. Okay. So let's say dia pergi book untuk sini. Okey salah kan. Ini so dia akan keluar lah wrong. So continue. Okey sebab you have uh, to Uh, okay, kita bagi Okay, long lagi okay. Uh, Kenapa dia pergi sini terus? Because during setting tadi Kita letak maximum attempt is 2 So maximum attempt is 2 So meaning kalau dia kali kedua dia salah juga Dia akan terus pergi the next slide So you need to play around with the settings lah If you have question Okay So yang ini pun sama lah. Okay. Previous video dia pergi betul tak pergi. Okay betul. Okay yang ni normally dia akan Oh dia masuk balik ke kat sini. Okay never mind. <laughs> ah, yang ni okay maksimum lah. Dia cakap lah. Okay you tak boleh submit. Okay. Okay. This one. End lesson ataupun start again. Okay. Just check lah kan. Biasanya saya akan check juga betul ke tak. Okay lepas ni tekan sajalah next next. Next, next, okay, yang ni walaupun belum boleh jawab sebab okay, attempt, okay, next, end of lesson. Okay, ah, yang ni sebab tadi kita ada question and we set the grade is 2. So kita answer salah tadi kan. Dua kali kita answer, dua-dua salah. Okay, so dapat kosong lah. Okay, so okay. Tadi dekat basic setting tadi kita ada uh, I link this lesson to the quiz. Okay, then dekat sini ada ni, kat bawah ni go to online quiz. So if you don't link your lesson to any other activity in uh, Elip, yang ni takkan ada lah. So dia dia hanya akan ada review lesson ataupun return to the uh, course page. So let's say we want to go to online quiz. Let's say you want to link up uh, or you want your student to uh, able to do quiz straight away after they complete the lesson. 
then they can click here terus masuk dekat quiz okay, sorry sebab quiz tu dah tak ada buat saya delete dah kot quiz tu Okay, so kalau ada sepatutnya dia akan uh, masuk dekat uh, quiz tu terus lah. Okay. Okay, I think that's all untuk demonstration. So if, uh, stop share this one. Okay. So if you have any question or you want to read uh, a bit more about uh, lesson, sebenarnya boleh dia baca dekat Moodle punya uh, website directly. Okay, actually I uh, sometimes I go to Moodle punya website and then look for some tips as well lah. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's all. Uh, is there any question or nak tunjuk lagi sekali ke untuk buat nak upload video ke apa? Uh, feel free to ask me. Joy, boleh tak um, apa tu minta uh, participant buat terus? Buat terus? Uh, at least macam ada dua konten lah ada ke depan and then satu uh, embed video so that nanti diorang boleh share sebab kalau kalau kita tak buat terus dan uh, boleh ke? Uh, I'm okay so uh, if you... Itu cadangan lah. Yes. Ah. Saya, saya juga ada cadangan. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm I'm not good in all, all this. Boleh juga uh, Zaya uh, buat dalam instructive uh, manual, just a simple one, especially for the upload video. It, it is very interesting to me because uh, untuk upload video, certainly uh, uh, apabila pelajar dia buka video kan, dia tidak tidak melibatkan banyak banyak uh, step. Yes, know, yes. A lot of steps sometimes involved. And because of the step, people are becoming reluctant. They are they they reluctant to open it up because kadang-kadang yeah. they able to open, then and most of them end up not able to open it. Seperti mana yang telah di demonstrate tadi kan di sini, I notice that it's very easy to open. But uh, sebagai seorang pencerah, macam mana kita boleh embed dalam ellipse supaya dia senang dibuka oleh pelajar? Maybe can put the one inside inside the instruction manual dan boleh dikunci bersama. Then at our own pace, seperti saya, orang-orang yang tua-tua lagi, maybe at their own pace, they can do it at their level. Okay, Apa boleh. Okay. That is my suggestion. But Dr. Mani, I think yang 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 pandai-pandai ni mereka boleh buat secara exercise lah. I think that is also a very good suggestion. So, yeah, yeah. But no, have to examine from that lah. Saya tak boleh buat tu. Betul betul because we have diverse uh, diverse audiences and diverse participants we will try to accommodate insyaallah. Yeah, okay, thank you. Alright, alright. Yeah. Uh, saya tak buat pula dalam slide but uh, I think I, I can make it uh, later lah. Okay, uh. ataupun mungkin I I can uh, screen casting ke pun boleh share okay. video saya saya buat macam tutorial video macam mana nak ikut that one pun boleh juga lagi senang I think take videos at least you can just stop Okay, kalau baca pun kadang-kadang tak faham kan. Uh, maybe later I, I, I can share uh, videos on how to to upload uh, YouTube videos or Google Drive punya videos in your Elip. Okay, thank you uh, Mr. Mike for the suggestion. Okay. Uh, Naim pun ada cakap ni. Ha, Naim pun pernah guna apa? Lesson juga sebenarnya. Uh, Uh, Naim cakap ni boleh try and error dalam Moodle and then ada juga contoh-contoh, yes ada juga contoh uh, tutorial video actually banyak juga dalam dalam Moodle punya website, not only for lesson but for other tools as well. Okay. So this is good, I think uh, for those who opt for um, asynchronous, asynchronous teaching and learning, it is very useful. Ataupun sometimes we have uh, synchronous and we have also asynchronous at the same time for one learning unit. Maybe we can embed this yeah, to, to check on our student whether they understand of the lesson or whether they are able to, um, whether they are really involved in the in the lesson. Because last time, uh, I remember last, last uh, semester, Um, this uh, ada few lecturers, they orang buat uh, asynchronous, just record the video macam dia cakap lah, recorded the video using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or either using Screenomatic. Suddenly, uh, and then we have to come up with a report of attendance mm -hmm. and then they ask me, how am I going to to get the attendance of the student? Ask yeah. it. 
you supposed to tell me, not I, I'm telling you. So, um, yeah, by doing this, it's, it is actually when we um, do the, uh, ask the student to do the exercises, we can monitor them indirectly. We can capture the attendance. Yes. Yeah? And uh, not only for this coming semester, semester one, for the coming, 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 coming semesters, even though we have a face-to-face -face class, and Unimas is quite flexible for the PTG, uh, Pertaksiran, sorry, Pembelajaran Gantian Teradun. Okay, uh, maybe we can combine the face-to-face -face as well as the online, asynchronous like this. Or maybe like Ujai said just now, it's very useful if we, uh, we have to go so for some field trip like FSTS, FK, they, they uh, used to go to field trip, masuk hutan apa semua kan. And then ada yang pergi laut and then so to, to collect the data, to do some research or even to attend uh, workshops uh, sent by Unimas or attended meetings. So um, we have last time experienced the troublesome to find um, a placement uh, class. Yeah. So by having this uh, lesson, so I think it's very easy so that we don't have to actually cancel the class. We can prepare earlier. I think Farah once did that, yeah, Farah, uh, FSTS. So um, that may be in different way, but this one is because we have uh, ELIP, Unimas has ELIP, so we can fully utilize ELIP so that we don't have to do replacement class. Um, during the class, we can just ask the student to do whatever they're supposed to do um, during normal face-to-face -face class, yeah? Um, because uh, especially um, accounting, accounting is a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, asynchronous uh, as I, uh, seen the SLT, a lot of uh, asynchronous um, mode of teaching and learning uh, stated in the online SLT. I think that this is one of the way to say, let's say, for example, it's a lot of theory, a lot of calculation, and it's good for calculation as well because students can always replay and replay and replay if they don't understand before they proceed with the what we call um, the quiz. Boleh ke ujai? Dia replay, replay, replay sebelum buat quiz. Boleh ka? Replay. But some, let's say the video, they replay the uh, video before they proceed with the quiz, uh, the quiz again. Boleh ke? Sebab just linear saja kan? Linear maksudnya dia one step, one other, tak boleh nak go back, go back ke macam? Oh, quiz. Ah, let's say video, ada quiz kan? Ada uh. video, ada soalan. Lepas tu ada lagi video, ada soalan. So, maksudnya boleh ke pelajar tu uh, revert back, dia nak jawab soalan tu tak, dia tak pandai, dia tak boleh sebab dia macam maybe um, tak faham sangat and then boleh ke dia go back to the video tengok balik dan buat quiz tu boleh tak? Rasanya boleh. Boleh eh? Ha, tapi kena ada button tu lah. Make sure you put <laughs> apa? Ada button tu. Rasanya sepatutnya boleh lah. Sepatutnya boleh eh? Ha. Okay. Alright. So I saya think this... Sebenarnya uh, Frank uh, apa? Memang saya tak pernah pakai question sebab saya rasa is uh, sebab sometimes saya nak tanya banyak soalan so I don't think is uh, effective nak buat kalau tiga soalan tiga page kena buat kan. Ya ya betul. And then uh, macam management science so is calculation. So hmm. saya nak suruh dia orang buat calculate. Okay so hmm. kalau saya bagi MCQ macam susah pula kan. Betul. Nanti dia orang main hitam je bukan dia orang calculate betul. -betul. So uh, that's why I never use uh, question before but I think boleh sepatutnya lah. Boleh eh. Okay so Maksudnya the, the question tu embed dalam konten kan? Uh. Ah, okay. So I think this this one is a good thing because kita ada juga um, add puzzle ke nama dia. Uh, another um, um, independent uh, apps yang kita boleh guna. Tapi for me, we have subscribe for Elite. We have the platform. We just fully utilize what we have. Okay. Uh. Lepas tu dan everything pun uh, dah ada dalam server Unima so it should be okay lah. And then kita pun dah asingkan uh, exam server dengan uh, teaching and learning server. So it should be sufficient enough. And then the video um, as highlighted by Mr. Mr. Mike just now, eh, happy Mr. Mike, um, on how to just when student click the link, they just watch the video in there. They don't have to um, go somewhere else, especially using the phone. Yeah, student last time pun ada complain dekat I juga. So, and then uh, I learned from Ujai on how to do that. Uh, okay, Ujai is very resourceful as, as well as Naim. 
orang rajin nak explore explore benda ni lah. Okay, so uh, we have another about forty uh, five minutes before we end it, yeah. Uh, because we uh, we plan until eleven thirty. Hopefully that yeah, uh, we are able to perform at least. I think dah dalam uh, Zan, Wanori Zan, Zan, dekat Zan dalam. Okay, I think dekat dalam elite we have already have the allocation for the courses for the course that we already we will teach this semester. Tapi kita tak boleh buka lagi kau. Belum lagi, okay. Uh, dia ada, tapi tak boleh tapi dah oh okey okey semalam saya cek tak boleh edit lagi hari ni dah boleh dah ada hari ni dah boleh dah okey kalau hari ni dah boleh mungkin uh, we can try okey we can try to to do very simple one just let's say uh, one content uh, one video uh, and then another one is question dua saja tak perlu sequen banyak-banyak and then we just try and error dulu so that we can we can have uh, if you have a question Uh, you can ask Ujai. Mm. Okay, uh, better that way. So, kita do about 45 minutes. We try to fully utilize as much as we can this time. Uh, because I think uh, for the lesson two, tak ramai tak ramai yang buat dekat FTB rasanya only Ujai and Naim. Dekat faculty lain, maybe there are some more people who have experienced these uh, lesson tools. Yeah? But uh, take advantage of this, um, of this uh, workshop. And then later on, kalau kita nak continue, nak tambah boleh je. Kalau dah siap, boleh tambah-tambah lagi kan? Boleh edit kan? Ah so, Boleh. Uh, yeah. Kalau kita dia kena publish ke macam mana? Publish lepas tu, uh, boleh edit kemudian ke macam mana? Uh, boleh je kalau yang macam yang kita dah publish kat student pun, kalau kita uh -huh. nak lagi sikit pun boleh je. Tapi cuma kena inform student lah kan? Kalau mungkin yang siapa yang dah tertengok yang version nama tu. Ah, uh, okay. So maksudnya yang uh, this time. Kalau okay. if you have question page uh -huh. dalam uh, tu, so kalau student tu dia dah buat question yang dalam, dalam version lama tu, dia guna dia matah dia pun sama juga lah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying, what I'm asking is, let's say kita try hari ni, uh -huh. uh, fully to fully to last at 45 minutes, lepas tu they come back again later and then to edit boleh kan? Just boleh. Come no, no problem. Okay, alright. Okay. Uh, I hope that we can just go ataupun kita nak buat sekali serentak one um, I think boleh tak kita buat serentak and then as much as we can lah within this 45 minutes and uh, siapa stuck dia boleh uh, yeah. tanya Ujai directly. Boleh kan? Boleh. Jadi, no, uh, no. Boleh check. I think so we can just uh, leave this uh, meeting open uh -huh. and Zoom ni open lah kan sampai uh, uh, Ataupun kita Ujai uh, One by one, step by step, again. Okay, one, kita buat sama-sama. I think kita bagi dalam two minutes for everyone to open elite. Okay, lepas tu... Uh, oh, buat sama-sama eh? Ah, uh, buat sama-sama. Okay, Sama-sama uh, menjejak mimpi. Because uh, I'm quite excited with this. I believe that the rest pun excited. At least as much as we can for for this session. And then kita boleh sambung kemudian lah. Boleh? Kita fully utilize masa ni. Alright. Okay, ah, saya boleh tolong juga sementara ada kat sini. Yes, thank you very much Naim. Okay. Dan kita boleh minimiskan lah untuk kita buat sekali at the same time. Okay, kalau saya laju sangat tolong cakap lah. Ya, yeah, boleh. <laughs> okay, ah, saya buka yang ni terus lah. Saya punya terus. Okay, let's say nak letak dekat lah. Tak adalah topik one, nanti boleh. Nanti boleh ubah sebenarnya lesson tu. So, uh, no worries. Okay. Click any. Okay, and, and activity. Um, and then click lesson. Okay. And then add. Okay. So, um, Okay, so let's say yang ni topik mana? Tak tahu di topik apa. Tak aja dulu. Nanti later you can edit again. So no worries. Okay. So description. Uh, okay. 
So you can write your own description. So saya sebab saya dah ada description yang lama so I just use my one. Ah, It's better for you to standardize lah your let's say your instructions or your description. Apa yang description tu kita kita buat simple simple dulu pun tak apa kan? For the sake of this exercise kan? So nak tak tak nak letak pun tak apa sebenarnya. Uh, so maksudnya dekat sini uh, kita kena describe the what is the topic about macam yeah. tu lah. Uh. Uh, macam tu. Okay, just very simple. Okay, selalunya saya cakap yang ni je. Okay, macam mana dia nak go through apa apa guideline tu dekat first page, lepas tu suruh dia klik dekat icon tu. Okay, ni kan, icon topic one. Contoh lah, macam tu lah. Biasanya saya tulis yang tu je. Okay, next appearance uh, progress bar ni make sure letak yes. Kalau saya, saya akan tak yes lah. Okay. Um, the rest display ongoing score. Uh, this one, this one up to you. Okay, if you have, you plan to have question, then um, you need to choose lah whether you want to put yes or no. Okay, if you don't want to have question page, uh, no need to bother with this this one. Okay. This right, right. Contohnya tadi appearance, progress bar, uh, highly recommended to click yes. Yeah. Okay, and then okay. display menu. Display menu ni biasanya dekat hujung sekali bila dia dah go through everything nanti baru dia akan keluar. So maksudnya uh, kita menu, akan yes ke no? Biasanya saya akan letak yes. Yes eh? Okay. Display menu yes. Okay. okay. Minimum grade to display menu. Yang ni saya biasanya saya letak 100%. So hujung sekali baru dia boleh nampak display menu. After they go through everything baru uh, ini, okay. So we have before uh, the lesson menu. Uh, okay. Uh, minimum grade hundred percent. Okay. Apa ni? Cepat. Pun zero pun boleh je. Uh, Jadi tak kisah sangat lah. Yang slide show tu apa tu? Kan bila kita klik bawah tu. Oh so, ni. Um, dia akan display macam slide show macam kita buka uh, PowerPoint. Kita tekan F5 tu kan, presentation mode. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Dia akan jadi macam tu. Selalunya saya takkan letak sebab takut student view ikut phone. So ah. nanti takut dia punya resolution tu jadi lari ke apa. So I, I just put no this one. So recommended no lah eh. For this time eh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Ni maximum number of answer tu let's say if we want to have question page and then we choose MCQ kan. So kalau MCQ kita nak ada lima option kita tak lima lah. Jadi uh, kalau kita ada kalau kita ada question page. Kalau tak ada, tak ada abaikan. Abaikan. Abaikan uh, maksudnya kita letak kosong lah. Kosong pun boleh nak biar saja lima pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Okay. okay. Um, this one availability, biasanya saya tak letak apa-apa hmm. um, Yang ini aku mungkin yang ini Jangan, jangan. yang use default feedback tu? Yang ini saya letak no biasanya Okay Ini okay. uh, enable, uh, dia akan letak that answer is correct or wrong Biasanya saya tulis sendiri Ah uh, okay, alright Okay Lepas tu, okay next availability Okay, availability yang ini terpulang lah. Biasanya saya biar dia kosong. Kecuali yang ini lah kot. Mungkin uh, kita first first semester kita, uh, first week kita berapa bulan kat you? Tumbuh 12. 
October 12 ha. uh, So mungkin start first week lah Let's say kelas saya ni hari Rabu ha. uh, So mungkin 14 uh, Mungkin macam tu lah Okay. Enable so, eh? lah, terpulang lah kalau tak nak letak enable pun boleh je Okay kita try je lah Alang-alang dah buat ni Cik, alang-alang dah buat Okay, lepas tu deadline kita biarkan je? Uh, deadline biarkan saja. Uh, saya suggest memang biarkan saja lah so that Walaupun student tu dah masuk minggu ke 10 pun Kalau dia nak tengok lagi lesson yang topik first kan Biar saja lah dia nak, dia nak belajar lagi kan Okay supaya dia boleh study lagi lah. Okay, Alright. so should be okay. Time limit pun uh, I think no need to 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 set this one, biar saja. Okay, sebab sometimes student dia buka, dia tengok satu video, lepas tu dia pergi makan ke, dia pergi berak ke apa kan. Kita bukan tahu kan, lepas tu baru dia sambung balik. So Alright. kalau ada time limit ni nanti dia tak tak boleh tengok orang lah kalau dia dah achieve dia punya limit kan. So uh, tak payah set I think. I think kalau nak set dia ni je kot, from saja kot. Ah, okay. Yang yang password tu terpulang pada pensyarah lah eh. Yeah, terpulang kepada pensyarah lah. Ini. Okay. Takut ada alien yang masuk kan? Ah yes. Okay. Password protected. Okay. Okay. Flow control ni normally only if we uh, have question. So dekat kalau yang tak ada question page, only content page Yang ini saja allow student review or not Okay So maksudnya, okay. Uh, maksudnya kalau, Let's say I choose tak ada uh, question page, I click no lah eh ah, Yang ini yes, yang atas saja yeah. yeah. Yang ini review, review maksud dia dia boleh tengok balik lesson tu From the start So click yes lah Yes Ah okay Yang ini saja click yes Yang lain tu only if you have question Okay ini kan, provide option to try question again, yes or no Okay uh, Yang ni up, up to you lah Okay If we have question page uh, Only if we have question page That's why better for you to plan first Nak ada question ke tak dalam uh, Okay uh, Dalam apa, dalam lesson tu uh, okay. okay So that you can play around with the setting Terus Alright So okay. This one might be maximum number of items untuk yang ada question page tadi lah Ya, yeah. yang ni semua atas sekali saja. Student review saja yes Yang lain ni lain hanya ni. kalau ada soalan Abaikan ha, kalau, kalau, ada, kalau kita tak nak ada question page, kita boleh abaikan Abaikan saja Ah, Okay, alright okay. okay, grade ni pun sama juga Grade ni hanya kalau kita ada question page Okay Okay So ada saya tulis, uh, saya letak dalam slide tadi uh, Boleh download dari apa, hmm. dari chat tadi hmm. Kalau untuk grade ni, let's say kita ada um, Question page Okay, type ni ambil point Okay macam ni lah, point Maximum grade ni uh, Mengikut berapa markah yang kita nak bagilah Okay, untuk soalan tu Okay, total lah, total Contoh dalam question, dalam lesson tu uh, dia kena jawab soalan. Soalan tu akan menyumbang 5% untuk total marks. Then kita jadi lah ini supaya senang kita nanti tak payah convert balik. Okay, mm-hmm. okay yang itu saja lah. Okay, and then yang ini uh, custom mana show more kat mana ni lah. Ha. Custom Siri. Yes. Ah uh, itu uh, can you just move a little bit up? Just now, there is one function to say that the student allow student to view, is it? Ah, uh, yeah, allow student review. You put yes. Uh, review mean what? They can, uh, they go, can go through. Ha, you, you, they can go through the lesson again from the start. Oh, lesson again. Okay. Ha, lesson, bukan question, lesson. So that's why you need to put yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Because my um my online test, uh, I. I said I do not allow the student to go backward lah, the question Oh, question, uh, kalau kalau question like uh, It's only for exercise kan? Ya, yeah, ya yeah. Oh, okay, boleh, boleh okay. Thank you for your clarification Okay 
Okay, so if uh, if uh, you have question in your question page, okay, uh, grade ni kena set. Okay, yang ini make sure you tak point. Yang ini depends on how many marks you want to give to the student. Total lah, uh, total mark. Okay. Um, custom scoring ni make sure you choose yes. Okay, so if you want to allow your student to retake the question, okay. Pilihlah yang ni yes or no. Okay. If yes, then macam mana pemarkahan tu dikira. Let's say ya. Uh, if you tick, tick yes, okay. You nak pakai the highest or the average marks. Okay. So kalau tak no, senang lah kan. Tak payah set. Okay. Okay, kalau tak ada soalan, un, uh, tak ada question page tu, for this part, you can just Ignore lah. Okay. Just skip this part. Okay. Then save and display pun boleh. Okay. Yang, yang lain-lain ni common module setting ni kita boleh abaikan lah. Ah, yang lain tu abaikan saja. Biasanya saya abaikan. So kita klik save and display. Ha. Kalau save and display dia akan terus masuk sini. Okay. So kita klik save and display lah. Tengok. Yeah. Okay. So uh, biasanya uh, dia akan tunjuk expanded version dekat sini. Saya pun saya lagi suka expanded version dia sini. Okay. Sebab kita nampak apa yang kita dah buat biasanya. Okay. So the first page. Okay. Yang ini sebab dia blank lagi lah. Maksudnya kita punya lesson tu dah uh, dah ada. Cuma dia blank. Tak ada content lagi. Alright. Okay. So the first page biasanya letak guideline. So kalau guideline tu choose content page. Um, okay. Yang add a cluster dengan import question ni saya pun tak pernah try. Saya pun tak sure untuk apa. So uh, ignore sajalah. So kalau nak tahu lebih uh, boleh baca dekat model punya website lah buat. Okay. So kita letak uh, masa hari ni kita fokus on add a content page saja ya. Yes, okay. content page. Okay, so add a content page. Okay, so this one will be your first page of your lesson. Okay, the first thing that student will see. Okay, so biasanya kat sini saya letak guideline lah. Okay, guideline and instruction. Okay, so page content. So tulis lah. Student, you nak suruh student tu buat apa kan? Okay, saya dah ada. So, I will just use this one. Okay. Mungkin ada berbeza sikit lah yang ni, yang subjek ni. Maksudnya, maksudnya kat sini, kita letak, uh, kita bagi tahu student. First, apa dia orang kena buat. Yes. Atau Kalau kita describe video, yeah. lepas tu ada quiz ke macam mana? Ah, uh, Yang itu terpulang lah kalau oh. macam saya, okay. Saya oh. first, saya akan letak yang ni. Okay, apa yang dia perlu buat. So, oh. download, read the slide. Nah, saya cakap lah, okay. Before watch the videos and then watch all videos uploaded in this lesson. Okay. Uh, kalau ada dari YouTube, saya akan cakap lah. Take note some video uh, from YouTube. Okay. Kalau semua original video, saya buang lah ayat ni kan. Contoh lah. Okay. Uh, lepas tu, Uh, general instruction sajalah. Okay, and then look for additional information, textbook, reference book. Okay, if needed. Okay, saya, biasanya saya tak bagi uh, link ke apa. Kalau you nak bagi, you ada memang betul-betul nak share that link then uh, lagi bagus lah. It's better to do that lah. Okay. And then, okay, after they, they complete the lesson, apa dia kena buat? Dalam lesson tadi kan, kalau yang saya punya tu, saya ada exercise. So, saya cakap lah, do the exercise in this lesson and submit your exercise via Google Form before live online discussion. Macam saya cakap tadi, uh, biasanya saya akan suruh student go through the lesson. Okay. And then they need to submit the exercise using Google Form before saya punya synchronous session. Synchronous session tu saya panggil yang ni lah, live online discussion. Okay. So oh, sebab yang ni you ada sebab you ada calculation kan? Ya, yeah, saya ada calculation. Ah, okey okey faham faham. 
saya untuk discuss dia punya exercise tu kalau dia tak faham formula ke apa macam mana nak buat soalan exercise tu ke uh, saya akan bincang time live online discussion tu lah sebab tu saya suruh dia orang hantar exercise tu selepas dia orang tengok video tapi sebelum live online discussion so that's why I said you kena plan dulu apa you nak buat tapi okay, apa dia punya step-step if you have both synchronous and asynchronous uh, apa dia punya step so yang itu kena be very clear to student lah okay. so yang ni saya biar macam ni dulu nanti saya fikir untuk sampai depan saya pun tak fikir lagi nak buat macam mana <laughs> okay. okay faham faham but at least saya dah ada some some guide lah kalau nak copy saya punya ayat ni pun boleh je no uh, boleh boleh letak dekat ni ke dekat chat copy copy saja tu ya nanti kita ubah-ubah aje lampau yeah. betul lah tapi okey lah kan <laughs> at least lah we get some ideas on how to do it dalam word eh saya copy dalam word dah senang sikit okey boleh boleh nanti saya uh, apa share word but we have to bear in mind this is your class this is your flow so ha. we have to tally with uh, our flow yeah. our according to our own um, course suitable for the flow that we wish to to do it how we want to tally with our course design learning unit design for this particular topic all right faham saya share yang instruction saya lah. Aha, okay. Highly appreciated. Okay, network disconnect. Ha, ha. Ha? Hmm, kenapa tak boleh? Saya upload tapi boleh je kan dengar saya kan? Boleh, boleh. Eh, <laughs> uh, tak boleh. Dia tulis network disconnected. Hmm. Oh okay, tak apa. You you copy paste je dalam chat. Okay. Tak. Ah uh, tu saya copy, saya drag masuk dalam tu lah dia tulis tu. <laughs> tak pun Ujai letak dekat kat yang uh, WhatsApp nanti kat yang masukkan dalam chat. Okay, kejap saya try lagi sekali. I'll try lagi sekali. Hmm, tak boleh. Apa saya bagi kat uh, WhatsApp kat you eh? Okey, terima kasih. Hmm. Okay, stop share dulu. Okay. Alright, sementara tu Jai boleh teruskan Nanti Kak Yun share dalam uh, dah, dah nampak kan? Nampak boleh kan? Ya So yang ini Display in menu okay. uh, Description ni Content first, content one ni Maksud dia uh, button yang Akan keluar nanti ya. Uh. Content button dekat bawah tu So biasanya saya akan tulis next lah. Next. Slide. Uh, teaching slide or teaching note to whatever lah kan. Okay. Jump next page. Okay. So content 2, 3, 4, 5 ni tak perlulah. Okay. Buat content 1 dulu eh. Uh, untuk first page memang content 1 saja kan. Sebab kita yang ni dia ada next saja kan tak ada previous ke tak ada apa-apa. Hmm. Uh, so biasanya saya akan buat next saja kat sini. 
next next so maksud dia satu konten sajalah okey so yang ini yang nantilah jap tadi yang uh, description kita buat little bit of description lepas tu content one ah uh, lepas tu jam kita pergi next page kan jam ya yeah, jam next page next page okey lepas tu save page ha ah, save okey lepas ni okey nanti dia akan keluar macam nilah kita boleh nampak yang ni sebab kita buka expanded kalau collapse dia keluar macam ni saja so uh, saya saya uh, prefer collapse sebab nanti saya tak tahu apa saya tulis dekat sini. You prefer ini you prefer expanded right? Expanded yes. Ah okey. Saya boleh baca juga dekat sini kod-kod terjumpa typo ke apa ke kan. Okey, betul betul. Okey, then then dekat bawah sekali kalau kita dah save page tadi dekat bawah tadi okey. Ah boleh pilih lah yang ni. Biasanya saya memang saya biasa akan buat content dia. Okey. So kalau ada, kan tadi awal-awal tadi dia cakap ada cluster lah, import question lah okay, okay. Sekarang ni ada branch pula, ah, yang ni uh, saya pun tak sure apa So Belum lagi, hmm. <laughs> we haven't explored yet ah, Not cruel well. <laughs> So uh, Buat content sajalah, kalau macam saya, saya memang akan pakai content saja. Okay. okay So add content, page Okay, biasanya konten yang kedua ni saya akan letak slide. So ni lah picking slide. Okay, letaklah topik one. Okay, ataupun learning unit one. Kalau dah tahu learning unit apa, ha, boleh type terus lah. So biasanya dekat sini saya letak instruction juga. Okay, jangan letak terus link tu lah. Ha, biasanya saya akan cakap macam ni lah. Okay. Just a simple apa instruction. Dia besar lagi boleh ke tak nampak? Apa? Dia punya contoh apa instruction tu. Oh, ya. Ah. Yes. Ah. Okey. Okey, lepas tu kalau dah ada uh, lepas tu slide Biasanya saya akan bagi dua-dua version lah PDF Line PPP okay. Biasanya saya akan bagi dua-dua sebab Kalau student tu uh, Dia buka dekat phone Mungkin dia prefer PDF Tapi some of the slide mungkin ada animation Kalau kita buat animation ke apa kan dia berubah-rubah ke apa semua tu uh, prefer powerpoint okey kalau nak tengok animation tu kan so bagi je dua-dua version so kalau dia tengah buka dekat laptop kat situ ah mungkin better untuk buka dekat powerpoint okey okey so kalau dah ada so contoh ah kalau dah ada slide slide tu dah ready so kita highlight yang ini Okay, highlight contoh yang PDF ni kan. Highlight PDF ni. Lepas tu tekan hyperlink kat sini. Yang macam apa tu, chain tu kan. Okay. Tekan link kat sini. Lepas tu browse. Okay, lepas tu choose file lah. Dekat mana kita simpan apa. Uh, file yang uh, slide tadi. Contoh lah kan. Saya nak letak lesson tadi. Okay, open. So, upload this file. Okay. So yang ini powerpoint. So tekan lagi sekali sama juga. Okay. Choose file. Ni powerpoint. Okay. Upload this file. Okay. Dah lah habis lah. Okay. Okay ni tak, tak lah sikit. Okay. Okay. Kalau kita nak ni buang lah, kita buang dulu. Okay. Maksudnya the file will be uploaded inside here lah kan? Yes. Ha. Dia kena tekan, dia, dia tekan uh, link ni nanti dia akan download. Okay. Um,
Okay. Then content one Biasanya content one ni saya akan Tulis previous page lah Kalau aku kot lah dia nak baca lagi Apa Previous instruction tadi kan Okay So jam ni Untuk selamat lah Untuk selamat jangan letak previous page Ataupun next page uh, Previous page letak je guideline and instruction terus Okay Guideline Yang ni kan, jam ni kan uh -huh. Walaupun memang kita nak letak, nak letak previous page uh -huh. Tapi kalau memang kita dah decide uh, Nak letak guideline and instruction Nak terus letak page yang guideline and instruction tadi pun tak apa Nak letak previous pun tak apa Okay uh, Bahayanya adalah kalau kita letak previous page Contoh ha, previous page kat sini mm -hmm. lepas, tu, lepas kita dah buat apa semua Kita tukar sequence ataupun tertekan sequence mm -hmm. Sequence tadi kan yang dekat depan tadi Contoh ha, saya tukar balik ni sini. Dekat sini ni, sequence ni mm -hmm. Tertekan yang ni, yang ni dia jadi naik atas Contoh lah mm -hmm. okay. Lepas tu dia akan lari lah kita punya setting So kalau nak selamat lagi Okay, dekat ni kita tu tulis terus jam ni dia pergi mana hmm. Contoh kalau dia jam dia yang ni previous pergi guideline instruction lah Terus tekan guideline instruction so that Kalau kita tertekan yang move tadi tu pun dia dia tak lari Dia punya button tu masih uh, valid lah Okay Cuma untuk next ni sebab kita tak buat lagi page yang next tu so. Okay, letak je lah next dulu uh -huh. So yang ni next Contoh lah Okay, subtopic 1 Contoh lah Ni contoh sajalah Tapi sebab page subtopic 1 tu tak ada lagi, tak wujud lagi dalam ni Okay uh, So kita letak next page sajalah dulu Okay, okay. So uh, Habis lah Okay Okay, so that is for content number two. Okay. So we click save page, ah. Ha? Ha, save page. Okay. Ah, dah nampak dah. Okay, so kalau nak tengok dia punya ni pergi preview, pergi preview. Okay, kalau kita just nak tengok preview untuk kita check saja kan. Okay. Yang preview yang uh, mode dekat student ni, switch role ni, yang ni better lepas kita dah Dah siap semua Last kali baru kita buat ini. Kalau setakat kita nak tengok Sikit-sikit uh, je lah Kita dekat sini pun tak apa okay. uh, So dia akan keluar macam ni lah okay. Kita tekan apa tu? Tekan call, uh, tekan M, uh, call okay. apa? Tap preview Oh preview ada dari atas ni tap Okay, okay. tap preview So dekat sini kita boleh check lah Okay Biasanya kalau untuk check sikit-sikit saya akan tekan preview dekat sini lah Okay lepas tu okay. Kalau kita tekan next ni dia tak ada lagi kan ha, Sebab dia terus congrats sebab kita tak tambah lagi tadi okay. So kalau macam ni Okay so kita tambah lah Okay let's say lepas slide kita nak tambah video tadi kan Okay so this is our first video so Add a content page dekat bawah sekali Okay, let's say kat, kat, kat sini nama Saya pun tak tahu subtopic apa Okay, so sini Okay, so subtopic 1 Okay um, Okay, let's say untuk subtopic 1 ni uh, Kita nak letak video uh, from YouTube lah contoh lah eh Okay So normally saya pun memang akan letak uh, macam ni lah Adalah sedikit instruction ataupun description 
okay, we will be able to understand about subtopic one to draw. Topic one, okay. Kalau kita ambil dia dari YouTube lah, okay. So enter. Apa kita cantik sikit Okay. Okay. Uh, pergi YouTube. Okay. Tuan-tuan nak letak video. Kalau dari YouTube ni uh, nak ambil video sejam pun tak apa sebenarnya. <laughs> Untuk kalau kita pakai embed tu dia tak uh, tak kisah sangat. Kita punya video tu berapa lama, berapa besar. Okay. Launch of a new brand to commemorate the first. Yo! Brand Brand Okay, then. So you're any. I see. Okay, copy. Yes, 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 copy. Lah. Okay, copy. Contoh lah. Lepas tu tekan yang ni HTML ni yang macam apa, bukan bracket, uh, bracket lah kan. Copy paste je. Okay, lepas tu tutup balik. Okay. Dah siap. Okay. Kalau kita ada YouTube uh, account sendiri, okay, lepas tu nak Uh, upload video dekat YouTube account kita lepas tu share pun boleh tak ada masalah so contoh kita ada YouTube channel sendiri kan so kita punya teaching video yang kita buat original tu kita masuk kita punya YouTube channel so dari YouTube channel tu uh, apa kita embed dekat sini pun boleh tak perlu Google Drive pun boleh okay So, siapa-siapa yang kot-kot nak jadi YouTuber ke boleh buatlah macam tu. Instead of guna Google Drive, pakai je YouTube channel. Lepas tu, instruction first tu, make sure suruh subscribe. Subscribe, like and share. Subscribe, like and share. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Boleh je. Boleh, boleh. So, kasi ah. ni. Nak jadi YouTuber, boleh guna peluang ni untuk dapatkan subscriber. Okay, content one. Okay, biasanya memang saya pakai previous lah. Okay, previous. Lepas tu apa lagi? Uh, previous tadi, sebelum tadi apa? Teaching slide kan? Teaching slide. Okay. So, jump teaching slide topic one. Okay, okay content tu. Yang ni next. Okay. So yang ni contoh kita ada subtopic 2. Okay. Untuk uh, next video. So jangan letak semua video uh, dalam satu. content yang sama. Yes. Hmm. Walaupun kalau saya saya pun kalau subtopic yang sama pun kalau ada dua video saya akan letak dekat page yang lain. Okay. Uh. Then we click assume. Next, next, next. Okay, left to share page. Okay, so sekarang kita dah ada satu, dua, tiga page. So and then ah uh, buka lah ini kan. Try dekat preview. Okay, dia keluar kita. Ini pun kalau boleh tekan lah ini. Okay, ah hmm. uh, okay betul kita ada punya file yang yang. Ha, yang kita buat tadi. Okay, subtopic one. Okay, video try lah play. Yo! <laughs> oh, so it means that we we do the testing lah. Ah, ha, test lah. Okay. Biasanya saya akan test juga lah. Okay. Jai, boleh tanya? Ya. Yeah. Uh, last semester kita digalakkan menggunakan this one drive. Yeah. Banyakkan video kita dimasukkan dalam OneDrive. Ada hmm. ada boleh buat satu petunjuk kan di mana kita boleh keluarkan daripada OneDrive dan masuk kepada 
One uh, the YouTube uh, bukan masuk pada the video, uh, live video di di Elip sekarang. Okay, can we do that also? Uh, one because mine, mine a lot of my video uh, dia masukkan dalam OneDrive. So let's take I want to use this lesson uh, punya platform. Uh, macam mana saya nak keluarkan daripada OneDrive dan masuk dalam this uh, bit, uh, this uh, Elip video. The the link guy, the link. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, sebab dalam OneDrive dia tak ada. Mm -hmm. uh, kalau one drive dia tak boleh keluar video macam ni. I see, okay. Kalau one drive kita boleh share link sahaja. Okay, share link aja saja ya. Seperti yang kita buat last semester lah. Yes. Sebab uh, one drive rasanya video dia saya rasa saya dulu saya pernah try lah. Tak tahu lah kalau hmm. saya try dulu pokok dia dah update hmm. dia punya tu kita boleh dapat hmm. dia punya uh, link dalam tu. Macam eh. Okay. Saya Saya try. Dulu memang tak dapat lah sebab tu saya pakai uh, Google Drive. Okay. Uh, mana lah eh, video. Kat mana ni ada video. One Drive dapat Jai. Tak video ke? Uh, video dapat boleh embed. Boleh. Drive, tapi susah sikit lah kena pergi dekat One Drive punya ni. Yeah. Um. Now let's look on how to solve assignment problem. Okay. Kamu ni ada nak embed tu? Sebab dia kena ada yang embed. Cuba lah. copy, copy link ataupun. Tu copy link, just copy link saja. Ada. Lepas tu dia punya embed tu. Dia punya code tu. Code dia tak tak ada rasanya. Belum ada. Ada, ada pernah. Tapi dia bukan uh, uh, interface macam ni. Ada mungkin share kot. <laughs> ada okay. pernah. Saya saya ada dekat ellipse saya. Eh. Uh, guna one share. Yes. Uh, okay. Tak apa. Uh, mungkin nanti kita ada satu sesi lain yang ni. Uh, dekat FB je lah. Saya lupa lah. Uh, tak apa-apa. Yeah, yeah. Nanti Ahmad okay. cuba explore Thank dulu. You. Thank you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Sebab Hi. kita pun dah, dah exit the time. Uh, those uh, who want to uh, do perform uh, Friday prayer, they have to leave early. So we just uh, yeah. uh, towards the end lah. Okay. Uh, yang tu nanti Ahmad boleh buat boleh buat video. video. Ya, yeah, satu session. <laughs> Very short session. Ha. Okay, Mat eh. Terima kasih, Mat. Okay, boleh, boleh. InsyaAllah. Okay. Oh, boleh eh. Kalau boleh lah. Okay, ha. boleh lah. Kalau macam tu lagi senang lah pakai OneDrive sebenarnya. Ha, betul, betul. Okay. Tapi saya pakai dia Google Drive ni sebab saya student pun saya suruh hantar dia punya soalan apa semua dalam apa pakai Google Form. So, uh -huh. saya memang buat uh, Google account uh, memang khas untuk, untuk yang ini lah. Untuk semua dalam ni. Saya punya exercise pun diorang hantar ikut Google Form kat sini. So, teratur okay. okey lah. Okay, boleh kita uh, towards okay. the end kan Jai? Kita wrap up yang okay. tadi. So, uh, rasanya okey lah kot sebab yang ni pun kita dah sampai masuk video semua. Uh -huh. Okay, so kalau um, ada apa-apa nak tanya contoh, uh, boleh boleh je tanya saya nak datang bilik pun boleh je. Okay. Uh, jangan terjah masuk sudah lah. <laughs> okay. No problem. Kalau saya ada tu okay je. Boleh je saya uh, adjust apa-apa. Kalau uh, nak minta tolong setting apa-apa kan. Uh, cuma saya pun sebab saya pun baru pakai yang betul-betul pakai memang last semester lah. Okay. So some of the function uh, saya pun uh, tak very uh, uh, sure sangat apa dia punya actually uh, uh, function dia macam mana dia berfungsi contoh yang macam cluster apa semua tu so you guys can uh, explore on your own kalau rasa nak pakai cluster tu uh, tapi kalau yang setakat basic tu I think uh, I cover everything today so bolehlah kalau yang untuk basic uh, lesson punya page tu insyaAllah saya boleh jawab lah okay um, kalau ada apa-apa, kalau yang dari fakulti lain tu uh, boleh 
uh, boleh email okey kalau susah nak datang kat faculty ya so okey uh, boleh email saya saja uh, no problem okey uh, kat yong yang tu yeah. uh, evaluation form tu macam mana uh, evaluation form we will email this afternoon ah oh, uh, we will email this afternoon together with uh, all the materials that we just shared just now hmm. okay. um So just just uh, wait lah for this afternoon. I try to do it as soon as possible, as soon as we end this session, and then I will email everyone. Okay, boleh kita tutup ke Zain? Okay, boleh. So right. thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Okay, thank you everyone for your time. Hopefully that uh, it is really useful for me. I learned a lot of new things, uh, so that we can we can um, Uh, use different types of approach uh, in delivering our teaching and learning activities, especially for our students to ensure that they are really engaged with the teaching and learning, even though they are far away from us. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank